know, it's a, it, it, this is a great race. It's a, our big race of the year. It took a lot of uh, time and work to come here to do that race. Um, that year I'm racing uh, with level 5 again with Scott. It's an actual event, you know, it's more than even a race, it's a, it's a you know, we're, these guys have been here almost three weeks getting ready for it, so uh, it's, uh, you know, it's something to mark off on the check off on the list there that, uh, you know, we get it and we've, we've been here and uh, we're going to make the best of it. This is definitely the biggest race of the ILMC and definitely one of the, it's the biggest race uh, uh, endurance racing in the world and uh, everybody is really uh, has a privilege to, to be part of and uh, really uh, lucky to be here and it's great to be with a team like Level 5. It's their first time here in Lama so it's uh, a lot to learn in a short period of time for sure. Earlier this week, uh, during some of our testing, we discovered a fuel leak when Scott went out in the car. He smelled uh, fuel, which on a fuel fill, it's not unusual to have some scent of uh, fuel, but it usually goes away right away. In this case, it didn't, and he came in on the installation lap, and we discovered it actually had a fuel leak. Uh, and that's a really big job in this car. It's very difficult to access, and, and they've gotten that. Uh, fix seemingly. So I'm hoping that all of the fuel cell problems are behind us. Uh, the car came out here being in very good setup right off the bat, so that's fortunate that um, even though we lost that time, we've got a really good car. Well, we're about a little over six hours into the mall here tonight, and uh, things are actually going really smoothly. We haven't had any dramas to speak of. If uh, we can keep doing what we're doing and maybe get a little bit more luck with us, then uh, we'll see how things go. Long way to go. All right, so we're about three quarters into the race here, and we've had uh, Scott in the car for a couple hours, and then we've had uh, Joao and Christoph sharing the bulk of the duty here. Uh, Sometimes triple stinning, almost three and a half stints uh, at times. So right now we're in a in a podium position, and um, we just got to keep these guys working hard and keep tires under them, and uh, not come back here to the garage. Okay, here we are, kind of winding down here at uh, on Sunday afternoon at Le Mans. Christoph was using the car. We plan on having him in there for the rest of the race. If everything were to remain the way it is right now. It would bring uh, a um, podium finish in third. Keep our fingers crossed and uh, hope for the best here for the next hour and a half. Well, we're wrapping it up here today, Sunday afternoon at Le Mans. It's been a great long week, tiring week for everyone. There's been a tremendous amount of work that goes into a race like this way before you ever get on a plane to come to France. Uh, the team did a fabulous job preparing the car. We had no mechanical issues here. The pit stop execution was flawless. There were no penalties. Uh, to stand up on that podium above uh, a couple hundred thousand people that are all so enthusiastic and uh, it's great to have that feeling.